What's up everyone, Gadiel here. Today we will talk about Castle Clash. Today we will have a run through what's new on Castle Clash. Recently the UI has changed a lot. Here we will be talking about the Heroes Altar. Under the Heroes Altar we got multiple tabs with different functions. Firstly the Ars Ferva or simply the Hero Altar, Keepsake, Pet Plaza, Armory, Destiny and lastly Train Heroes. In the Heroes Altar, the classic UI for heroes have changed to larger picture of the hero. On the upper left tab corner you can see a filter option, here you can pick any option you desire to know or filter what hero class, grade, location, factions and more. On the altar the number showing below the hero like for example on this Ceratica, it has a specific number, this number represents the hero's breakthrough level. Others will have a star on the outer circle with a color green background representing that this hero has a single evolved stage and the number is the hero's level. Another one is a grayish background stating that this hero is on an on evo stage. Once you click on the hero all details will be shown from breakthrough level, hero level, gear set, relic, equipment, hero build suggestion with a logo of a book with a sword logo, hero biography vicious the feather, and underneath if you click on it will reflect the hero's stats like attack, health points, accuracy, dodge, creed, creed damage, creed resist. Under the hero stats you will also see the gear set effects. If you click on details it will show you all the details of all the added stats value from gears to keepsakes. Next we have the skill level, talent, pet, and the two insignias. Once you click on the talent it will display all two talents that you can change whenever you want. And on the pet you have the option either to change or if you click on the hero option you will see the pet's traits, level option, and if you want to change the trait, and you will also see the skill tab where you can upgrade the pet's skill level. Back to the main altar menu or screen just beside the previous tab we pressed you can see a 3 triangle with 3 color, this represent the hero assist or garrison. Here you can see what heroes are being assisted and all their accumulated additional stats. The lock logo you can press this feature to lock the specific hero you desire, this functions allows you to exclude this hero from being consumed to raise another hero's level or skill level. Below is the ROA's location and the breakthrough option. On the breakthrough option there is two options, ignite and auto. If you press ignite this means you will ignite the hero manually like filling up books for EXP you can auto fill or you can choose auto. Auto mean the hero will undergo breakthrough automatically until resources permits or until a certain level you so desire. Now back to the hero menu on the right side of the screen you will see three tabs. Helmet body armor and a crystal. The helmet is where we are right now this specific view, if we click on the body armor tab, this is the hero skin tab, here you have access to any skin function you like, choose a skin, level up a skin or enhance a skin. Last tab is for the destiny. Images of heroes on the left side will soon appear as soon as you click on this tab, this heroes are the heroes under the same destiny as the hero you are currently opening. Now what is destiny? Now how can you upgrade destiny? Now all the heroes on the left side needs to be upgraded like hero evolution, hero level, skill level, level 10, talent, enchantment, inscription, traits, but first you will need to unlock all those heroes. Keepsake, under keepsake you have two options, level up and raise star level. Keepsake is similar to gears, it also have four grades, epic, legend, elite, ordinary. To obtain a keepsake scraps or pieces you need to roll this on the keepsake temple on the lower left side of the screen, here you will have two options, higher with gems and with scrolls, scrolls are obtained through events, accumulation or the 30 days or 7 days bonus pack, under higher with scrolls, for every 100 rolls you will have a chance to obtain an epic keepsake scrap and only through higher with scrolls you can obtain epic scraps this is not available on higher with gems. In high with gems this has no limit, you can roll until you run out of gems, you can check the rewards option and chances on the view rewards tab located on the right side of the screen. To level up a keepsake you will need materials, this are also included in higher with gems or through buying it on the warehouse, the warehouse resets weekly, also with raise level certain materials also needed, every level need different amount or type of materials. For starters, it is best to choose all keepsakes that has attack and health points bonus. Vet Plaza. Here listed are all the pets you have unlocked, from mutants to normal pets, you can interrogate their options by simply clicking on the picture of the pet you want. Armory, here you can upgrade all heroes augmentation or augment their equipment, from leveling up, traits, souls and ether rocks options. You can also change hero enchantment in this tab. 